Hey everyone, welcome back to Virtualization How To. I'm Brandon Lee, and today I'm excited to share what I think might be the best Windows monitoring tool for your environment based on how simple it is and the metrics and monitoring data that you get when you use it. NetData 2.0 native Windows agent. In case you haven't heard, NetData has released a new native Windows agent with NetData 2.0 that allows monitoring your Windows systems as easy as Linux. Let's dive into the details and explore why NetData 2.0 Windows agent is a game changer for both the home lab as well as production environments. First off, if you're not familiar with NetData, it's a real-time monitoring tool for your infrastructure. It's designed to track things like hardware, applications, containers, networks, and many other metrics. In the case of the new Windows Server monitoring, you can track applications like SQL Server and other Microsoft solutions such as IIS that are commonly ran on Windows Server. One of the standout features of NetData is that it's free and open source, but they also have a SaaS option for even more flexibility. I think one of the strongest aspects of NetData is that it simplifies monitoring. It automatically provides metrics for most systems, including Windows, without the need for custom configurations, and it even has built-in alerts that notify you of issues right out of the box. You're up and running in no time, and I can tell you, Hands down, this is one of the easiest solutions to start getting professional, very detailed and deep performance and other metrics from your environment. Now, when you contrast this with other homegrown solutions that you may implement with open source projects that can be fun to build, they are just not as easy to get up and running. And you're going to find yourself tinkering and trying to figure out how to ingest data, how to visualize that data. Net data has made all of those things extremely easy. So by contrast, I wanted to show you guys in my environment a stack that I have built for on-premises open source monitoring, and it is comprised of a C-Monitor stack that includes Prometheus, C-Advisor, and Node Exporter. And I'm specifically using these container components to stitch together essentially a monitoring solution for Docker hosts, Docker Swarm hosts, and getting those metrics from my Linux container hosts, as well as with C-Advisor, all of those critical metrics for your Docker containers. Does this work? Yes, I, I really love these open source solutions. And I'm adding Grafana in another stack that is ingesting data from Prometheus and allowing me to visualize those metrics. The reason I'm showing you guys this is that this is all custom configuration and stitching those components together manually. They work really well and are known to work well in the open source community. However, something like Net Data allows you to just simply hit the ground running. As soon as you install that agent, you can literally log into your NetData dashboard in the cloud and you can start to see those metrics streaming real time into NetData's dashboard. And they automatically create all of those visualizations for you. So you're not having to download those community driven dashboards that may be out of date or need updating or just specifically don't show the data that you want to visualize in your environment. So keep that in mind. Do these open source solutions that are stitched together in a manual way that you can build on your own? Do they work and do they allow you to monitor and visualize data? Yes, they work very well. However, you're not going to see the simplicity and the quick approach to getting up and running with something like NetData. Now, here's the big news. With NetData 2.0, native Windows monitoring is finally here. Previously, Windows admins were a bit left out and had to have a Linux host to monitor and scrape metrics from within pointed at their Windows hosts. However, now there is a native installation package that can even be installed silently. So it's easy to push out if you have a tool that you're already using to do that. And it's native. You don't have to rely on WinRM and some of those other remote connection protocols that we know are an absolute nightmare to deal with with Windows. You can 
also use a GUI installer wizard just as you would any other package or installation method that you're used to in Windows natively. And once you install that in Windows, you're going to start to see all of those key performance metrics, CPU, memory, network, storage, and even hardware details, hardware monitoring for your physical host, looking at things like disk health or RAID controller health or other system level and hardware level metrics that are key to know. It doesn't stop there with basic monitoring. NetData also supports those applications on Windows like IIS, MS SQL, and Hyper-V. For instance, with IIS, you can monitor things like request rates, error rates, and response times. MS SQL monitoring includes response times and memory usage, while Hyper-V metrics show you your VM performance and resource allocation. This is a huge help for troubleshooting and optimizing uh, your Windows Server environment when you want to know and need to know those business critical applications their health or performance and have those statistics and metrics that are useful in troubleshooting. So let's take a look at this installation process of the NetData 2.0 Windows Agent and see just how easy it is to implement. So here I've logged into the NetData console. I'm clicking on the Nodes tab and we're going to go over to Add Nodes and you can see all the various options but we're going to click Windows and the options here are graphical user interface, or we can copy the command that's underneath there. But we're going to start off with the GUI interface. We're going to download the nightly version. And once we click that, we will see the NetData x64 MSI file getting copied down, downloaded to our local admin workstation. And once we have that file downloaded, which we do, I'm just simply going to sneaker net that over to the Windows Server host that I'm wanting to install the NetData agent on. So this is more of a definitely sneaker net approach, interactive approach, if you have a few machines that you want to monitor. So here we're just running the wizard. What we need to do at this point is copy the claim token as well as the room ID and then it auto populates the cloud URL. So we're just going to click next once we've done that and then install. And just another simple next, next finish application like we have been used to for years in the Windows server and Windows client environments. So we'll let it do its thing. It's going to copy over the, the files and the configuration, including our authentication token that we populated along with the room ID. And that just informs NetData as to where we want this particular node to show up in our monitoring dashboard. So we can see services starting, we can click finish. You can also access that local NetData dashboard, but we're gonna go straight to the cloud. And so I've logged in, vServe01 is the Windows server and automatically, this is what I was talking about with NetData, automatically we are starting to get live metrics from that Windows server host. How cool is that? To immediately start to visualize those performance metrics and other performance key indicators. So now let's look at the install using the command line version. So this is a simple, just copy the command line. I've launched a admin PowerShell session. So we're going to just simply paste in that command. It automatically has the claim token and the room ID as part of that command that is uh, copied in and pasted. So we just simply hit enter and we're not going to see any visible indicator as we can see it's a silent install as well as that MSI exec slash QN for a quiet installation. Now back over to the NetData dashboard. So again, once again, we've got metrics streaming live to the NetData cloud dashboard. Just going to take you on a quick walkthrough over on the right hand side we we've got lots of metrics here that we can click on i'm going to go all the way down to the applications ms sql node that you see in the dashboard and this particular windows host has sql server installed as it also has a veeam installation so it's got a sql backend 
So I just picked this one to demonstrate and show you guys how it automatically detects that SQL Server is installed on this Windows Server. And really cool, you've got access to connection information, transactions, SQL activity processes, and other metrics that are automatically detected and start to stream once you install the NetData agent. Very, very cool. You can see various metrics. I'm just looking around the dashboard at this point. Really nice how it automatically sets up the graphical views, those visualizations of those connections, of those transactions, activity. We can back back out. And as you notice, I'm clicking the settings cog for this particular Windows Server host. And when you do that, you'll see the collectors that you can also add additional collectors if there are other services that were not automatically detected. And then there's also the health tab. And the health tab is where we can actually set up the built-in alerting. And this is, to me, another one of the really powerful aspects of NetData. These monitoring metrics and alerting are automatically set up right out of the box once you add this node to your NetData infrastructure. So if I, as an example, if I click on the ping host reachable, you're going to see that we didn't have to set up a trigger and an action to automatically email us that, hey, this host may be down. NetData realizes that this is one of those critical metrics that we would want to be able to be notified on if pings to this host start to fail. We would know that A, the host has went down, B, it's crashed, or C, you know, we've got bigger problems in the infrastructure that are more widespread than just this single server node. So this is really handy to have this type of monitoring and alerting. Now I wanted to show you guys too, as you can see, I'm searching for MS SQL, MSS SQL. One thing I noted that is a little bit of a bummer, it looks like there are no built-in alerts as of yet for MS SQL that get detected out of the box, in other words. However, on this configuration, we can actually go in and we can add, if you click on the little plus sign that I'm doing here, we can actually add custom rules and metrics that we want to perhaps measure a threshold and trigger off of a certain value. So NetData does give you that flexibility on the alerting. However, I would like to see more in the box alerting as to some of these new applications that we're able to monitor on the Windows front. So just going back out to a global view, we can see a lot of the other basic things like processes, CPU memory, disk storage, memory, utilization, all kinds of metrics here that we can uh, take a look at. Uh, storage, IO, IOPS, latency. And another thing I really like here too is this apps node that we can expand and it will automatically tell you which apps are taking the most memory, the most CPU. So kind of like a task manager, but with more uh, intelligence and a little bit more uh, graphical appeal that we can make sense of some of this data and kind of see how it weighs into the other metrics that we are getting that data from in our net data environment. Something else that I really like about NetData is that they are very fond of home labs and home lab environments. So they offer a home lab license and it's only 90 bucks a year. And when you consider what you really get with this monitoring license, it's a killer deal. So for $90 USD, you can get unlimited monitoring. So you can deploy as many agents. If you got 10,000 agents in your home lab, you can monitor that with NetData with that home lab license for $90 a year. But if you don't want to spend that money on a home lab license, you can still take advantage of the free and open source NetData monitoring. Now, while NetData offers robust real-time monitoring capabilities, it's important to be aware of certain limitations or just some considerations with a product. Windows support is fantastic in this release. However, NetData's native Windows support is relatively new, so you might find some features that are available on the Linux side for monitoring and other discovery type uh, metrics that may not be fully implemented for Windows systems. 
Keep this in mind, NetData excels in real-time monitoring and visualization, but it may lack some advanced analytics features found in specialized tools. Like if you really want to have a specialized tool for MS SQL or IIS, NetData is going to give you really good coverage, but you might find a tool that's going to expose some of those things even more deeply. Also, historical data retention. NetData primarily focuses on real-time monitoring. So there may be some limitations there for long-term data retention compared to other monitoring solutions. If you need historical data analysis, you may need to supplement NetData with with some additional tools. Also keep in mind NetData supports various integrations. However, there may be certain specialized or proprietary systems that aren't in the box configurations or integrations that would need to be custom developed or those integrations would have to be created in a manual way. But definitely keep that in mind if there is a specific integration that is key for your monitoring environment. So is NetData 2.0 the best monitoring tool for Windows? Well, for me, it checks all the right boxes. It's easy to set up. It has really robust monitoring for both Windows and Linux. So whether you're monitoring a home lab and taking advantage of that home lab license with NetData, or you have a production environment, this is going to be a super easy win, throwing NetData in an environment, loading it up on your Windows resources, your Linux resources, and starting to get that valuable key performance data and troubleshooting shooting information from all of your hosts in the environment. Well, let me know in the comments if you're using NetData or what tools you rely on for monitoring in your home lab or in production environments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos on home labs, cool technology solutions, and just anything else that we can think of that I think you guys will benefit from or just simply like to see. Until next time, please do stay safe out there, keep on home labbing, and I will see you on the next video.